Man, this new Asus ZenBook Duo is just too cool. The company just announced its second generation of its dual screen laptop at CES 2026, and the changes are so bold that I love how the company placed the old model next to it just for you to easily tell the difference. Where the previous ZenBook Duo provided a much more pronounced hinge, which gave you the added functionality of being able to use it in tent mode, the new model prioritizes making this look and feel like a conventional laptop. They call this the hideaway hinge, which allows the laptop to lay completely flat, but is still wide enough to let you close it with its detachable keyboard without an added sense of bulk. Like seriously, it looks like a conventional laptop with it, not just because of the flush magnetic approach, but because the keyboard itself looks no different than what a regular laptop provides. Detached, it becomes a Bluetooth keyboard you can use separately, giving you the added functionality of this dual screen approach. Also, notice how ASUS managed to give you a slim design and still add a kickstand on the back, sparing you the need of carrying accessories to take full advantage of its variable form factors. The design has also been updated with the company's latest seraluminum finish, and yeah, the two 3K Lumina Pro OLED displays at 144Hz refresh rate are just gorgeous. The bezels are barely 8.28 millimeters, giving you a 70% reduction in footprint for added practicality. The overall design is actually 5% smaller. The entire package barely weighs 3.5 pounds, and yet there's a larger 99 watt hour battery. It brings all the ports you could ask for, including Thunderbolt 4, USB-A, HDMI 2.1, and yeah, you can use the new ASUS Pen 3.0 for creative work. It's powered by the latest Intel Core Ultra 7, or Ultra Night processors with up to 32 gigs of RAM, up to two terabytes of storage, and improved Intel Arc graphics. We still don't know the price, but stay tuned for the launch coming soon. Overall, it's hard to deny that this is yet another example of the best of CES 2026. I'm curious to know what you think about this in the comments.